Chihuahua. There wasn't much of him, what there was was all cojones. Little Gomez was a randy little fella. Big dogs, small dogs, it mattered none to him. He was the canine equivalent of Aeroflame. <laughs> At the drop of a sombrero, he'd jump up and get stuck in. Taking Gomez out for walkies was embarrassing. Repeat. Taking Gomez out for walkies was embarrassing. I remember one day in the park his tally rose by four. An enviable score he was amassing. Two very patient poodles and an irate Labrador. And a squirrel that just happened to be passing. <laughs> I tried everything to curb his carnal appetite. I kept him on a leash by day and I locked him up at night. I even put some bromide in his chunky meaty bites, but the only thing that might have worked was kryptonite. Repeat. Yes, the only thing that might have worked was kryptonite. Then there came a fateful day when he tried to consummate a liaison with a St. Bernard from Dublin. And although he was clearly fighting well above his weight, he didn't let that minor detail daunt him. He nearly pulled it off, oh, what an acrobat. But the bitch got bored and down she sat. It is often said that after making love, one feels quite flat. I'm sure my little Gomez would agree with that. I'm sure my little Gomez would agree with that. So I buried Gomez in the park, his happy hunting ground. A sad but fitting finale. And I had to dig a grave that was rather flat and round. He looked like a squash tamale. Oh, how I miss my wee chihuahua chum. I went down to my local shop to buy another one. I went there feeling happy and I left there feeling glum. Because the man down at the pet shop loved corny puns. Don't repeat. And he said, Yes, we have no chihuahuas. We have no chihuahuas today. Relaxations, Dalmatians, the fruits of all flirtations, a Cornish Pekingese in a toupee. But yes, we have no chihuahuas. Everyone, we have no chihuahuas today. Savannah.